that was 15 years old. And she, her, her dream was to have uh, um, a, a husband and some children. <laughs> and really, she wanted to have children that were similar to her. <laughs> and uh, well, she, you know, she wanted to have children by having sex. Uh, that is the way they have children. <laughs> and she uh, went to the university and then she started working. And finally, well, she was 35 years old and um, she got married. And after a couple of years, after um, starting having sex without any protection, they didn't get pregnant. So uh, they realized that they had to go to the doctor and the doctor said that they have to um, start with some treatment. So the first thing is that um, uh, it will not be as she thought, it will not be with sex. So it's okay with the doctor. And uh, uh, they started with uh, intrauterine inseminations and they had some failures, and she was 40, and uh, some months she, they were some depressed, and, and they still uh, tried more and more, and then they started with IVF, and they couldn't get pregnant, and when she was like 43, um, the doctor told her, or told them, well, um, you can try it with egg donation. And she said, well, no, I don't want to try with donor eggs because uh, I have the dream of having my own child. You know, own child is having my genes because I want them to be like me. And he explained that uh, they had uh, low chances and high miscarriage rate uh, uh, and, and also high chances of having um, a baby without normal chromo uh, chromosomes. But she's uh, decided to do the same with IVF with RNAs. And uh, she got pregnant. It was not easy, but uh, she had a discourage. So at one point, uh, they were very tired and very disappointed. And they say, OK, um, let's go for egg donation. And, uh, she tr they tried, and in the second attempt, they got it. And she was pregnant, and they had the baby. And four years later, they came back um, to, the, to the doctor. And they say, look, uh, I am very grateful because um, people say in the street that we are very similar. Uh, you are a genius. You find someone that was identical to me. And the doctor said, well, uh, look, first, I'm not a genius. And secondly, uh, she was not really identical to you. Probably she was not very different. But the thing is that people see that you are similar because you talk in the same way, because they think as you do because they laugh and you laugh. And that is what you feel that it is similar to you. So really, does DNA, DNA matter? And uh, she realized that, no, it doesn't. Uh, it was her child as it was in their uh, last dreams. And this is the story. That's it.